Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition, we're going to take a look at this. Now, um, you might remember the failed print video I did a little while ago, about a week ago, on the Wanho. Well, I've printed out the same file on the DaVinci, and it looks like it came out pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have a time lapse because I did print it on the DaVinci, and it's hard to do a time lapse. Uh, however, I uh, did want to show you this. It did, did seem to come out pretty good, so I'm going to extract it from the bed, and then we're going to go over the bench, and we're going to take a little bit uh, deeper look at this print and see how it turned out. So here we are. We've pulled it off, and uh, not too shabby. We've got uh, a couple pieces. Uh, you might be able to see there the HDMI port. Now, I printed this with no supports. Um, so a couple of these came out a little weak, but all in all, uh, this really turned out not too shabby. Um, especially the backside, you might remember how bad the uh, uprights on this were. Now, I printed this at a 0.1 layer height and uh, thick shells and I think a 30% infill because I wanted to make it kind of solid. Now I did print it with rafts, and the raft is simply unremovable. You can kind of see that down here, and I had to kind of jury rig getting the port open for the micro SD card, so that part's not too I'm not too happy with. I'm also the raft did not go any bigger than the bottom of this, which was really kind of odd, um, you know, because you know in the last one it kind of pulled over, well, it kind of did. You know, I was again wanted to make sure I had some really good adhesion because this gets really tall and there's a lot of vertical torque. Now, as far as the Raspberry Pi fitting into it, uh, there's actually little notches in here that this Pi slides into. I mean, the person who designed this did, did a very good job and it slips in there very nicely. You can see the, the ports, you know, line up. You have access to the SD card and it's a cute little build. Um, and, and it's pretty much, you know, just completely self-intact. So now what we need to do is, uh, you know, just print out the, the faceplate to this uh, and everything. But uh, at the end of the day, this print came out pretty good. I actually really like this a lot. Um, I wish I was able to get the, the back to separate and not do the raft. I may give it another shot um, without the raft and see what happens and do it at a point two layer height. It, it took ooh, six or seven hours to print at point one, like this. Um, however, it came out very, very nice. Uh, you probably can't see it. There's some little artifacting right here where uh, you can kind of see that, that it went off track just a little bit when it hit this top part. However, that's not, not bad at all. So, uh, I'm going to go print out the... Uh, front of this and uh, just see how this whole thing turns out uh, but uh, yeah I give it probably 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 again if the raft would have uh, would have come off it would have been much better so let's go print off the uh, front front plate okay so here we are back we printed out the um, the face plate for this we'll see how this goes on and uh, We'll give it a shot. Okay, so here we have the uh, the printed version of this. Now, if I get my fat fingers out of the way, one of the things I want to show is how this slips on. Because this actually goes on behind the flanges. Because if you look, I don't know if you can see them there, there's flanges on these ports, the USB ports. And then what happens is this slides in, or at least appears to slide in, behind there and that's really what holds this in place so there we go so that's now slid in there and there's like little tabs that interlock into the thing um, into the thing yeah that's really good into this this plastic piece you can see them there and uh, it's a pretty good fit actually so you know there's the completed unit now you see a little bit of a gap here I could probably clean up a little bit of this, and I'm not sure that the Raspberry Pi is is set back in there far enough because notice this gap that I have here. Um, I think I, I think I could probably clean this up to push a little bit back, and I think the other 
problem is I just noticed there's a little bit of warpage. Warpage, is that a real word? I guess I guess in 3D printing we can make it a word. Um, in here, so because this is printed in ABS, so um, I think that's what's kind of keeping this pushed forward a little bit, and I think that's what's creating the gap. But uh, all in all, not bad. You know, if you really wanted to, you could probably use a little acetone because it is ABS or glue. However, um, I think that that's perfectly fine, and that way you can take it apart, and there you go. You have a complete Raspberry Pi case. Um, you know, so I'm kind of interested which one is better, this this one or that one. So uh, let me know in the comments below which, which one you think is better. So I've done now two on Raspberry Pi cases. Um, personally, I think this one could be a little bit more easily done, and I think I'm going to maybe remix Adrian M's version a little bit, um, because if this was a little bit more solid, this top piece was a little more solid, it didn't have this Raspberry Pi thing on here, and had more maybe like fins like this, or vents, uh, this would be better, and it wasn't so flimsy, um, would be would be probably a better design because the pie just sits on there now he did a very good job i'm assuming adrian is a he maybe it's a she i shouldn't i guess assume uh these pins are very nicely done along with the offset so uh, they've done a very good job on this case and the other piece that i sort of like is that the io pins uh are are exposed so you can get to the gpio pins on this one you can't so it really depends what you want to do um, I may try printing some more of these to see how they come out, just for grins and giggles. Um, so I had a pretty good time printing these, and these are cool. I love the Raspberry Pi. It is such a functional little computer for, you know, the, the money. So making them into an entertainment system or what have you. Um, again, 35 bucks for the 2.0 really is a pretty decent, um near netbook type experience if you will so uh been very pleased with uh with these and so have a lot of fun so anyways um uh, you know this is all kind of an offshoot of the octopi project that, that i want to set something up for uh you know run some octopies and so hey give it a thumbs up even if you didn't like it give it a thumbs up it doesn't hurt you at all make one mouse click it's good exercise. You can tell the significant other you exercised your 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 finger today at least. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. We'll have a lot more of this stuff coming in future videos. And so subscribe. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.